I'm Dirty Jack. I'm the Dusty Bee. Come take a ride with us. Thanks for joining us. In this episode, we are visiting Black Lake State Forest Campground. Situated on a bluff overlooking the northern shores of Black Lake, this rustic campground offers easy access to nearby ORV routes and trails. The upper campground offers large campsites with natural barriers between sites for privacy and also allows off-road vehicles the option to ride to nearby trails. While the lower portion offers waterfront sites, off-road vehicles will need to trailer to trails if staying in this portion. The upper and lower campground are connected via a beautiful stairway and they are both an easy walk to the bluffs where you can grab a bite to eat and choose from a great selection of craft brews on tap. Come along and enjoy the trip! We're just discovering this site. We're liking it. So it's we're thinking huge. it's a huge site. Um, it's site 51. So we're looking at site 51 and uh, there's 50 something sites here. We'll, as we go, we'll talk about that more. There was one other group here. So we thought, well, we don't really want to get too close to them. They had their generators going and everything, but this is a good size site. And if you look over there, you can see the outhouses. Um, so if nobody comes next to us for the weekend, we got a good site going. We're not too far from the Bluffs restaurant and bar. Uh, we're gonna back on in, check this out. Bob's backing us in. Campsite's pretty big. It's a path going to another campsite, I believe. Maybe to the pump, I'm not sure yet. The lake is right back that way. Nice large sites. Separated by trees, so they have nice barriers, natural barriers. fire going you can kind of get an idea of just how dark it is there's the dusty so bean <laughs> it's a toasty around. fire pan it around it's just pitch black northern michigan late september almost october and there we go you can see our tent So here we are getting up in the morning. This is our setup. There's, there's Tina. So as you can see here, it's 40 degrees outside and 69, almost 70 degrees in the tent. Back around. That's our setup right there. The little buddy is set up on low. The little fan behind it blowing really soft just kind of kicking things around so overall it's supposed to be pretty cold out but 70 degrees in here last night nice and warm inside this tent and so we just kind of fired the coffee up in here so we get up this morning making our coffee and we kind of come into our food tent, which we packed up good last night. We put our food in the car, thankfully. And we look here, and there are our prints. We believe a raccoon. Oh, table too. See all these prints, it's kind of funny. And they're pretty distinct. So you can tell there was a raccoon in here looking for something. I'm getting ready to make breakfast. Uh, we did have a raccoon come in here last night, so I'm heating up some water so I could have some hot water to wash everything really good. I got the griddle started heating up so I can make some uh, bacon, sausage, eggs, whatever we want. Got my coffee sitting there. I'm ready to start the morning. Beautiful out today. Here our generator back there running everything right now. Gonna do some riding today, obviously. Uh, we do have our little shower set up. You can see we have a string that we throw over a tree with a pulley system to hang our shower bags from. Shower bags are sitting on the trailer, they're solar, uh, but we will use the kettle, pour some boiling water and the water to heat it up real good. There's our campfire. I think it's gonna be a really nice day. You can see there's not another soul around us right now. 
So it was 35 degrees last night. We put the little buddy on low and left it on all night. Kept a little ventilation. And it stayed 70 in there, which is a little warmer than we're used to it. So we started to take this, zip it up a little, crack, crack this window. And then there's one of these windows on the other side. We did the same. Um, just to keep it to keep it at between 68 and 70 um the night before we made the mistake of putting the heater on high it was 38 degrees out and it got to 91 degrees and they're way too hot so we learned our lesson fell asleep and that happened within about an hour so now we keep it on low we're learning this tent and the heater and the heater works really well in it. and this does hold heat even though you can't close the vents up top it does hold heat as a good all-season tent Okay, here we are just outside of the campground. There's the trail. So I just popped in off the trail and I'm gonna film going into this campground. Okay, we're just coming off the trail, the ORV route from Black Lake State Forest Upper Campground. So as you're gonna see, they don't want you riding ATVs just screwing around through the through there but this is a sign you'll see here it tells you where the upper campground is which is where you can ride ORVs uh, any off-road vehicle in and out of the campground the lower campground is on the lake but they do not they want you to trailer your ORVs in and out there so we're just going to go back into our campsite but I want to give you a quick review of Black Lake Upper State Forest Campground because man is this really really cool so it shows you here, ORB use prohibited in a campground except for going to and from your campground or your campsite. 10 mile an hour speed limit in here. As you can see, there's the best way I could describe it is there's three kind of cul-de-sac roads here with campsites on them. They're pretty spacious, which I'll show you. This is a rustic campground, which means we have outhouses and one well pump that I know of. So here, when we first come in, you can go to the right. There you'll see the dumpster. We'll show you that in a second. And you can see here, you know, going to the left, you can, there's a couple of outhouses right there. This way here is our first loop. It goes in, around to the right, and then comes back out. There's campsites all around. The lake is right over here. Visitors must leave at 10 p.m. You see how it says pump here. So we'll take a look. So you can see the pump. So that's the water pump. You kind of go by hand and you pump your water there. If you're coming in, campsites, campsites must be paid and occupied. We have seen DNR come through and check. You have this crazy concrete filler with a slit in it. That's where you put your money or your check. There's envelopes in there. You pay, it's first come, first serve. So here's where you come in. Remember, to your left, there's the dumpster. To your left, that way, there's one loop, like a big cul-de-sac. Then we're gonna go this way. There's just over 50 sites in here. We're actually at site 51. Here's site 25. So you get a feel for it. As far as we know, right now, there are two people camping in here, two groups, us and one other. There is site 26. That looks like it used to be a site, but it no longer is. I've seen that in a few spots in here. The sites here are spacious and they got a good amount of uh, wooded space in between a lot of them, so it's really nice. So we're just cruising back to ours, kind of going in and out, and I wanted to film this. I like some of the sites are bigger than others. That 29 is not too big. This is a nice size one here. You won't always see a pole out front. If you don't, they will tell you to uh, put something in your windshield. So you can see here is another, I'm gonna call it just a loop, okay? So as you see, you know, you got the loop there, loop kind of going back this way. And there's all these different ways that you can uh, you know, set your campsites up and it's pretty spacious. So if you, if you just wanna come out and be left alone, it's pretty easy to do that even if it was crowded as long as you got a site. So here again, there's site 41. So Black Lake State Forest Upper Rustic Campground. You can ride your ORVs in and out, but they don't want you just cruising around, screwing around in here. And you can see, so Site 43 here is kind of tight compared to what I've been just showing. You can see a setup back there, that's us. So 43 has one right behind it. And I'm kind of talking about these loops. 
We've seen two so far. And here's another one. You see it says one way here. So we'll just take it the one way that it says. And we're back this way. This campground is stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. So if you get a chance, if you're into camping, it is really nice. There's Site 48. You can see just how wooded it is. It, it is rustic. If you need running water or electric, this is not not your place. There's Site 49. No ORVs back there. Site 50. So here's Site 50. And you can see, Site 50 is still a good size. I'll kind of show you. You could pull all in here. You got your fire pit. You got tons of room for setup there. You could either put over here. You could put a, a camper or tents. You could put one here. And you got plenty of room all through here. It does have a picnic table. Nice fire pit. Site 50, 51, that general area does have these um, a men's and a woman's outhouse. You can see on there. Normally we just see, you know, outhouse. Up um, here. They have women's here, and then that one says men. So we're just making our way back to our campsite, and that's where we are. We're at site 51. So I'm not sure the total sites right now. I can look that up on the internet, maybe pop it up in some words or comments below. We are at site 51. Now here's us. I'm going to have to get off and show you on this one just how cool this site is. There were some really nice sights on the lake. There was one other group in here and we just didn't really want to bother them. So let's walk up and see what we have for us. So that's probably site 52 right there. I'm not sure what it really goes up to, but let's slowly pan around us. This is site 51. We have our screen tent set up, fire going. We're making breakfast. Just getting ready to eat breakfast around our campfire. Hi, Bob. Hey. Got our Got breakfast, some coffee, sausage and eggs. It's a little cool this morning. We're sitting by the fire. It's really pretty out, but still maybe only 45 degrees. We woke up, it was 35. It's going to be high, 65 and sunny today. So beautiful day here at Black, Black Lake State Forest Campground. you don't really need your uh, your brakes that hill was steep enough to where we were going pretty good speed I tap the brakes wow these are some nice trails holy cow what are they good I think we're gonna jump on the route though we've done the route before and here's your route everybody's riding out here trucks Side by side, dirt bike, ATV, everybody. So just showing you one of the trails that run up along the sides of Black Mountain. It's, there's a big trail in the middle and then these run up on each side. And then as you run up, you're back into the trail system. Black Mountain. Oh yeah, and these trails are awesome. Due to steep, steep slopes and loose soil, vehicles greater than 50 inches are prohibited in this scramble area. So you can see the different runs. We're going to run down this one, run back up it. Shows you just how steep it is when you see Tina standing up there.
you could tell if the camera's picking up how steep these hills are. It's awesome. back up towards the campgrounds and the Bluffs restaurant on the east side. Kind of the two loops were on the east and one now heading north. It's a little bit of a slower trail, but it's not real long, so I don't think it's going to take all that long. Depends if you stop and how fast you ride. for banquets and stuff it had like a hotel attached to it and stuff i think it was like for sale or closed down i don't remember it's been a couple of years yeah, maybe five i don't know it's been a while we come to the left okay, right now we stopped here to get gas there's a uh, bar and grill in there there's a hotel here not quite sure what this place is called to look for a sign on the way out, but it's really pretty, and they have wreck gas. You can see here. Zoom in just a touch. We're going to go check out the stairs to the lower level. So Black Lake State Forest Campground has an upper and lower. Upper's got big sights. And you Cup can have ATVs. And you can have ATVs. Oh, poison ivy sign. There we go. So let's check out these stairs. There's trails back behind a lot of these sites too. So I'm going to show you that. This trail right here. So we're at this stairs and you're gonna look this way you can see there's a trail it goes back like behind the sites or whatever it does it goes right to the bluffs bar restaurant so there you can walk right to the bluffs really easy and there's a trail going that way and here is the stairs let's walk down them so the lower campground is right on the lake and it's beautiful the sites aren't as big as what you see in the upper part, but it's really, really nice. So just kind of walking on down to the lower. We drove through the lower yesterday, but it was a weekday, so it was Friday and there was nobody in it. Now we see a few people. When it's this time of year and it's so slow, so this is the lower Black Lake State Forest Campground. Yeah, there's a few here. There's a tent right there. That's cool, huh? Yeah, that really Jeep's cool. got their tent on the back and a camper down there. But you can walk right on down to the lake. Look at Black Lake. Yesterday, it was calm, blue skies, but that was afternoon by the time we got here. So now, we're here in the morning, and look, there's this fog mist over Black Lake. And I'll pan us around panning the lake though it's beautiful black lake michigan sheboygan would be the town i'm we're on black so lake we're in the black lake state forest lower campground we just came down the stairs took a look around right there let's zoom in just a touch is where the 
water is, it's actual water spigot here. All right, you don't have to pump it. When you go to the upper, which is right here, we're going back up now. Just brought you down, did a quick pan around down here. So right before we go up, let's pan around. This is the lower. So they have an actual artesian well that you just turn the spigot on and fills your water really clean. Quite a few bathrooms, great views of the lakes and campsites right on the lake. So let's spin you back around and here we go. We're going back up. So this takes you back to the upper. Quite a few stairs here, <clears throat> not too bad. And then this pops you right back out to the upper. Nice views coming down and it's a good workout. All right, so we're at the top. I just kind of ran up these. So just took you down, took a look around in the lower and just ran back on up. There's Literally the trail. Ran back up. It ran, almost fell running. <laughs> Steps are wide. These trails will take you right to the bluffs. Yep, right here. And then there's a trail that way. So when you come up these stairs, sorry to whip you around and you go to your left, follow that trail it's got to be a two to three minute walk and you're at the Bluffs restaurant. So here we are in the campground walking the trails. Really pretty in here. So when you first come in, there's a to the left, there's a loop and to your right where the dumpster is and the informational sign and where you pay. And you're going to see two outhouses right there. First, right when you come in. Um, this is a trail that kind of takes you back behind all the sites. So that's that first cluster of sites, sites one through 24. Then there's sites on the main road for a bit. There's basically, best way to describe is there's like three cul-de-sacs in a way. You come in with a main road. When you first come into your left is one. Then you, the main road, if you take it to the right, there's one that you go straight all the way back is like a big circle. And there's another one off to your left. So there's three. Each one has its own set of bathrooms. They're outhouses. And one says women, one says men. So there's basically three men, three women, six total outhouses that we've seen. In the, upper campground. in the upper campground. The lower campground has several outhouses as well. There's the trail. We said kind of goes right down the center of the campground. We're at the end of it now. So we're all the way to the north. This should be campsite 49. There's the bathrooms here. So these are a back set of bathrooms. We're all the way north in this campground. Showing you that, you know, if we cut through here, we're there to the campsite 49. But here, you look, there's a path that goes right down the center. Oh. This path, we go right down at about 100 feet, hang a right, and I'm gonna try to see if I can get this through the building. You can kind of see that building right through there. You can kind of see a building right there. That is the Bluffs. So the Bluffs is right there. So it's connected to the campground. Go right down this path, turn right. It's literally a couple hundred feet. Um, and then you're at the Bluffs restaurant. Just heating up our water for our showers. Uh, right now that water's at 129 degrees. We started with a 51 degree bag, and I don't know if you, yeah, you can see it. Right now it says it's 98 degrees. Uh, the kettle said it was, I believe, a 104, 106 degrees, somewhere in there. Here's that. the shower stall that we use. It's just a little pup tent. You can see the shower comes right through the roof. Got a towel bar. You can hang your towel on. There's a little pouch there you can put the soap in. I have it sitting in a little soap dish on the floor. I just showered. Uh, the floors are movable. As you can see, the sides uh, are open. So it just little has little toggles that go into each corner. It's so the water can drain out of it. So it totally makes sense. Bob's got his chair sitting there ready. He's getting ready to shower. There's the shower bag. We have the water uh, just over 104 degrees. So it's a nice hot shower. We have two of those or five gallon bags. I just showered and I don't even think I used half of it. Uh, you know, you just open and close the little uh, clasp on it that lets the water flow through. Hey, Bobby. Rustic camping shower that we, we rigged up, but we don't have running water here, so here's how we do it. Obviously, swim trunks are for the audience's discretion. So I'm a little bit tall, so, um, you know, it can be a little bit trickier, but you just twist this, get yourself a little bit wet, and then turn it off so you don't use too much water. Soap yourself up. Rest is self-explanatory. <laughs> yep, you, you soap yourself up, turn it on, rinse off. We usually go through about two gallons of water when we're, and we're pretty comfortable. If you really wanted a longer shower, you go maybe three. This five gallon bag, we're both able to get a decent shower out of.
All right, we're getting ready to walk over to the bluffs. We're excited. We just had an epic day of riding. Can't wait to, sh to share that with everybody. We're at our campsite. We're going to time it. We won't show the whole walk. It's a little boring, but we think it's only a few minutes. So campsite 51, Black State, Black Lake State Forest Campground Upper. We're going to walk over to the bluffs, time it, be right with you. Time timer now. Okay, walk it up to the bluffs. You can see here. Two minutes and 57 seconds. It took us two minutes and 57 seconds. So we walked at an average pace. It was about three minute walk from the campsite to the bluffs. You can see back there, right on Black Lake. I'd like to thank you for coming along with our camping trip to Black Lake State Forest Campground, the upper portion. I'm Dirty Jack, there's the Dusty Bean. Please feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel.